Many of you just watched the heart-wrenching story of Kimberly Long and the efforts of San Diego attorneys to finally get her freed from prison. But she's not alone. Tender supporter Steve Fiorina joins us live on this story. And Steve, there are other inmates from San Diego hoping these lawyers can spring them from prison as well. There are. There was a viewing party here at Oscar Wilde's Irish Pub in Hillcrest for the attorneys who helped overturn that uh, wrongful conviction. This is true life drama. And I walked into the house. It must still seem unreal to Kimberly Long as the nation watched her story unfold on ABC's 2020. 13 years behind bars, finally exonerated of her boyfriend's murder and freed from prison. Kim is ecstatic to be out. Grateful to the California Innocence Project and happy to get the chance to reconnect with her children. When she went to prison, they were five and eight. They're now 19 and 23. So it's been a hard transition with the children, but um, she is just so grateful for her freedom and so grateful to start up again. The Innocence Project is based at California Western Law School and has an incredible track record. Nearly 2,000 wrongfully convicted people freed nationwide, 156 saved from death row. Two more near the finish line are from San Diego. Suzanne Johnson was a licensed daycare provider sentenced to life in prison in 1999 for assault on a child causing death. A six-month-old little girl died after a fall from a high chair. Also serving a life sentence, Jermaine Smothers, convicted in 96 of a gang killing in Oceanside. That shooting sparked a massive brawl between black and Latino students at El Camino High School. New evidence in both cases may get them new trials. These two cases are almost the tip of the iceberg for wrongful convictions. Uh, you know, this movement is, is just starting off. And if and when Johnson and Smothers do get new trials, we'll be on top of that too. Live in Hillcrest, Steve Fury.